Hey, what a beautiful day, huh? I said two weeks ago that we were going to be outside, and here we are. So anytime I get another premonition and I, you guys want to bet, rely on me. If you'll stay standing, at this time, I'd like to introduce Miss Chelsea Hart, who's going to sing the national anthem. Chelsea. At this time, I'd like to introduce the president of the class of 08, Ms. Melanie Sebesky. Please be seated. On behalf of the Coldwater High School class of 2008, I would like to welcome parents, teachers, administrators, friends, and families to this afternoon's commencement ceremonies. My name is Melanie Sebesky, and it is my privilege to represent the seniors as class president. We're here to celebrate the, the achievements of the past 13 years, honor and thank those who helped and supported us on our way, and take the first steps toward the rest of our lives. We started as strangers, developed into friends, and now leave as family. We have experienced school life from backpacks to lunch boxes, from gym class to pep assemblies, from first day of kindergarten to last day of senior year together. We learned to value what we each brought to our new family through our rich diversity of culture, language, talents, skills and abilities, perspective, interests and humor. Like all families, it has not always been a perfect relationship. But those times we did disagree. It was between us. It was family. When it came time to present a united front against athletic opponents, other schools, and occasionally teachers, we stuck together as only a family can. And now the time has come for us to leave the comfort of our family and make our difference in the world. This class departs Coldwater High School prepared and determined, ready to face the challenges in store for us. It is sad to consider that this is likely the last time we will ever again be assembled as a group. But wherever we go, whatever we do, this fact will never change. This is the family of our childhood. This family will forever be the foundation of who we are and who we will become. Thank you. At this time, the senior class would like to acknowledge this year's foreign exchange students and their host families. Please stand and be recognized when I call your names. Stefania Rangel Araruju from Brazil, host family Russell and Tasha Hickey.
Ava Gabriela Arieta Quevedo from Mexico. Host family, Scott and Karen Lauder. She returned home May 10th. Kiak Frederick Berthelsen from Greenland. Host family, Karen Wilbur. Natalia Andrea Cabrera Mendez from Colombia. Host family, Jeff and Michelle Pierce. Daniela Camara from Brazil, host family Craig and Sherry Gaff. Mi Shin Chong from Taiwan, host family Saving Grawl. Yu Fong Chong from Taiwan, host family Jamie and Marta Sandy. Nora Katarina Friesberg from Germany, host family Jeff and Michelle Streets. Alicia Isabel Garza from Mexico, host family Jason and Jessica Krasansky. Lisa Kirchhoff from Germany, host family David and Valerie Counterman. Lara Komenglu from Germany, host family, Michael and Kathy Odrin. <laughs> Kathy Marnett from Germany, host family, Gary and Heidi Weiss. <laughs> Natty Pirunchinda from Thailand, host family, Brian and Danielle Kelly. <laughs> Daniel Pohanka from Germany, Host family, Jeffrey and Kelly Kiersey. And Judith Rebecca Romer from Germany. Host family, Thomas and Jill Duke. For 13 years, we have known of the guidance of not only our parents, but our educators as well. They are the ones who have a lasting impression on how we interpret the world around us. In this sense, we as graduates are the product of the hard work of these educators. It's a tough job creating the minds of tomorrow. As we move on, it is you, teachers and staff, who the class of 2008 will remember, for your impact on our lives and future cannot be defined in words. Class of 2008 is thankful for your ability to spark new ideas. We will use these ideas to better our future out in what we as students used to call the real world. It may be tough, it could be harsh. However, because of your guidance, support, and devotion, we are prepared and ready for whatever challenges we may face. I myself am not only thankful for the education you have given us, but also for the life lessons you have taught us. These are lessons that will prove to be just as important as what has come out of our textbooks. Now, when we come to a split in our path, we will have the necessary experience to make the best decisions. You are the parents away from home, even though we may not realize it, and maybe you haven't even realized it, but you have watched us grow up right before your eyes, day by day and year by year. It's funny how four days ago at convocation, I kept hearing congratulations, you made it. What some don't realize is that without your dedication to our success, no one would be saying that. Thank you, teachers. Thank you, staff. Give yourselves a pat in the back for your work. The class of 2008 will never forget you. To all the parents, guardians, and host parents of the class of 2008, whether you've been our parental support for just this year, several years, or our entire life, thank you for your continuous love, support, and dedication to all of us. You have been behind the scenes for school projects, grades, sports events, music productions, and award nights. You've done so much for us, and your hard efforts may often go unrecognized. We want to thank you for a lifetime of support. Thank you for starting us in school and trying to help us memorize the alphabet and number sequences so that we are able to excel in vocabulary, English, and higher mathematics today. 
Thank you for teaching us responsibility by signing our Friday folders and the detention or timeout slips that we didn't think we deserved. Thank you for being our only friend at times when it seemed like the world hated us. Thank you for being understanding when we put friends or relationships before you or maybe blew you off for no reason. Thank you for being our transportation to and from sporting events, music practices, meetings, and award nights. Thank you for feeding us the big meal before the game and taking us out for ice cream after a choir or band concert. Thank you for giving us a curfew and showing us that we have to embrace responsibility and make good choices if we want to excel. Thank you for being there when we fell flat on our face in life for making stupid decisions, causing humiliation, or even hitting rock bottom. Thank you for giving us support and encouragement to pick ourselves back up. Thank you for helping us learn about life's tough times by sometimes watching us learn our lessons the hard way. Thank you for setting an example in the way we should live from your life and doing the best to enforce rules and good behavior in our life. Thank you for training us up in the way we should go and then letting us make our own beliefs, morals, and opinions and still supporting us. Thank you for accepting our venture into adulthood and accepting us as people. Thank you for being great parents, friends, mentors, counselors, and admirers. Thank you for being our number one friend, fans. Thank you for saying no. Thank you for encouraging us and supporting us to be the people that we are today. And now, most of us will be moving out, out of city, out of state, and some even out of country. We will no longer have you to come crying home to or have you to see on a daily basis. It may be months before we see you in person after leaving for college, and there will be a lot of catching up to do. We know that you will probably only be a phone call, email, or even text message away, but it doesn't compare to growing up with you for 18 years. There will be tough times and amazingly wonderful times at college that we may only be able to tell you over the phone. It will be difficult to separate from such an attachment, but it's part of life. Growing up is a time when we have to think, act, and learn for ourselves. We'll be learning a lot more lessons the hard way, but we look forward to becoming smarter, wiser, and more mature at each passing day. When we move out, we can't physically take you with us, but we will take all the memories of childhood until now some good, some bad, and we will remember how much you love us and want us to grow and learn and be a student of life. Remembering how much you care about us and want us to succeed in life is enough to make us succeed. We want to accomplish our dreams and make you proud because we are most certainly proud to call you our parents. the class of 2008 has a lot of which to be proud. We have amongst us 10 presidential scholars, 64 students with a 3.0 to 3.49 GPA, 17 students with a 3.5 to 4.0 and above GPA, and a class GPA of 2.97. But most importantly are the 225 students that make up our class of 2008. Over our four years, we have brought much to not only our school, but to our community as well. Through our hard work, we have accomplished a lot. Whether it be through music, art, sports, or academics, we have worked to meet the standards set before us and then set new standards for the future. And through it all, we have become more poised and competent people, learning not only about school, but of life too. The efforts and success that we have had will help us to achieve the same in the future. On behalf of the Coldwater High School community, I congratulate you on your effort and success, and thank you for contributing to the excellence of our school and community. Thank you. At this time, it's an honor and a privilege to introduce to you the 2008 salutatorian, Ms. Erin Lesko. Aaron. As Jody Picoult began in her novel entitled 19 Minutes, in 19 minutes, you can mow the front lawn, color your hair, watch a third of a hockey game. 
In 19 minutes, you can make scones or get a tooth filled by a dentist. You can fold laundry for a family of five. 19 minutes is how long it took the Tennessee Titans to sell out tickets to the playoffs. It's the length of a sitcom minus the commercials. It's the driving distance from the Vermont border to the town of Sterling, New Hampshire. In 19 minutes, you can order a pizza and get it delivered. You can read a story to a child or have your oil changed. You can walk a mile. You can sew a hem. In 19 minutes, you can change the world. And so I pose this question to you. Have you changed the world? You may think, no, I haven't. But I challenge you, think again. Have you hung a locker sign? Have you volunteered through a club? Have you helped someone study for a test or picked up a dropped book? Then you too have changed the world. However, none of us, including me, will ever do great things alone. But we can do something wonderful together. No single person can influence the world. It will take us all. For those of you who worry about failure, I tell you, worry not. I have failed advanced placement tests. I have participated in all-star bands where I hid behind musical prodigies. I have even been cordially invited to Saturday school. <laughs> in fact, I have met failure face-to-face -face so many times in the past four years that we are now on a first-name basis. But with failure comes success, and success, that is how we change the world. It has happened right here at CHS. It begins with a compliment or a hug, and it grows into something much larger than any one of us. Do what the teachers and staff have encouraged us to do since August of 2004. Stand up, speak out, vote, try something new, define yourself. This is how we become citizens of the world. Because after this evening, we are no longer seniors at CHS. We are CHS alumni. We are members of the world. So rise above, go out of your way, and make a name for yourself in this life. It is only through this trial and error mentality that anything is ever discovered that an interest is ever found, or that a new friend is ever made. And so I leave you with this thought. In 19 minutes, we can change the world. To the class of 2008, congratulations. Again, I'm back. At this time, I'd like to introduce the 08 valedictorian, Ms. Marie Catherine Dubay. Jim Valvano said, life changes when you least expect it to. The future is uncertain. So seize this day, seize this moment, and make the most of it. I wish everyone could hear and comprehend Mr. Valvano's wise, word, wise words before starting school because the lives and relationships of the people around us would not be taken for granted. From the very first step into a classroom in elementary school to the very last just this past week, we've grown up so fast that we haven't realized the importance and impact of others on us, particularly the educators, families, and friends we've had relationships with for over 12 years. Educators and teachers have done so much more than teach us subject matters. There's always that one teacher that everyone likes, usually because he or she makes us feel like we can do anything we want to do, like we have worth and can make a difference in the world. Teachers have helped us realize our fullest potentials and, since elementary school, have worked to shape us into who we are today. They deserve the humblest and utmost deserving thanks. Our families have been there every step of the way. They've supported us through tough times and celebrated with us in good times. They too have shaped us, planting seeds of character and value within us, and will always love us, no matter what kind of trouble we get into. The friends we've made in our years at school have also had impacts on our lives. Whether bonds, and whether bonds of friendship never to be broken or simple, genuine acquaintances, they are different from our families and educators. They've been growing right alongside us. They understood our devastation at eight-page eight research assignments and shared our relief and joy of being able to sleep in on snow days. Without friends, school would be drastically different. As Mr. Valvano said, the future is uncertain. We may have plans or ideas about where we'll be in, say, 10 years, but anything is possible. Anything can happen. I challenge you to take Mr. Valvano's words to heart. 
Be aware of those around you and appreciate them. Be aware of all your actions and remember that the smallest things can affect others greatly. And do your best at being you. We don't know anything about the future, so live in the moment, take everything in, and live without regret. To all of my teachers, from elementary to high school, and whether on the stage, in the audience, or not here with us today, I thank you once again, from the bottom of my heart, for educating us and making positive, unforgettable impacts in our lives. To my family, I love you and I thank you for your support, patience, guidance, strength, forgiveness, faith, and love, which I have received every day of my life, some days unknowingly and others in perfect knowledge. To my friends, I thank God for you. I love and I appreciate each of you more than you know, and I could have never forgotten, I, have, I could have never gotten through these years without you. And lastly, to my fellow classmates, class of 2008, please don't forget to seize the day and make the most of your lives, and congratulations. Thank you. It is my pleasure to introduce the Presidential Scholars for the Class of 2008. In 1964, the Executive Order of the President established a Presidential Scholars Program to honor some of our nation's most distinguished graduating high school seniors. The following students have a grade point of at least 3.5, ranked in the 85th percentile on a National Achievement Test, and have earned at least four credits in English, three in Science, three in Math, four in social studies, and two in a foreign language. This year, 10 students are receiving this honor. Would the following presidential scholars and their parents please rise and remain standing until all students and families have been recognized. First, Sarah Abe. Madeline Albright. Marie Catherine Dubay. Daniel Joseph Fowler. Aaron Leskow, Jay McMillan, Kimberly Putnam, Corey Reckaway, Christine Sexton, and Jonathan Vince. It is truly hard for me to fathom exactly where we are today. As of right now, our whole lives have been leading up to this very occasion. It has been quite the journey, but in the midst of it all, we have made a numerous amount of memories. Memories that we will share with our kids in the future, <laughs> memories that we won't share with our kids in the future, but memories. They will always be with us. Whether it be Washington, Lincoln, Jefferson, Gerard, Lakeland, or Edison, go Edison. But <laughs> we all went to elementary school, and as I look back, I find it humorous because we had no clue exactly how easy we had it. The most difficult decisions we had during class was whether to play with the Legos or the toy cars. We wore shoes that lit up when we walked and t-shirts that represented our favorite TV shows, such as the Ninja Turtles and the Power Rangers. We spent five years at these schools, five years with recess, not only once, but twice a day. We finished it out with a trip to Kimball Camp, and we were off to the next step, Leg Middle School, a true transition of our maturity. All students combining together, meeting new people, having six teachers instead of one, and a lot of additional responsibilities. There's very little doubt that we had an excellent education at junior high, except for the fact that they did teach us Pluto was a planet. Aside from the schooling, we had trips to the orthodontist, putting on the hits, making of the red or white teams, Field trips, skateboardings, and sleepovers at friends' houses. Subsequently, the time would come when we would never have to run the water tower ever again. High school. The unsurpassed four years of my life. We not only learned about the normal curriculum, math, science, English, and history, but we started figuring out ourselves and what we might want to do with the rest of our lives. 
We need to express gratitude towards all of our teachers and parents for leading us in the right direction and working through our indifferences. I do have to be honest though, our class is not exactly known for wearing out our library cards. We like to have a good time. Senior Fest 2008. I believe that we were the first class to spend the night and have a bonfire in the school parking lot. At least once a week, there would be trips to Dutch Uncle at 3 in the morning, pool parties, trips to Lake and Tailgating, Kurt's house, huddling under a warm blanket to watch a football game on a cool fall evening, or losing your voice yelling with your fellow Cardinal crazies. Participating in clubs such as Interact, SAD, C Club, Student Council, and Rachel's Challenge. A lot has gone on over the years and it is now all memories. After today, after today, high school will become the past, and as we hold our heads high, we will carry in our hands the future. As we all go our separate ways, whether it's back to our home countries, college, or work, we can always recollect the good times. We will never forget these last four years or this one extraordinary day. I wish only the very best to everyone here, and I'm proud to say that I'm part of the Coldwater High School class of 2008. Good afternoon. It is my honor and pleasure to present the John Vance Award. John Vance was a 1975 graduate of Coldwater High School. We believe he represents the highest standards of character and achievement to which all students should aspire. He was not just an athlete, nor an honor student, nor a student leader. He was all of these. On May 25, 1982, John lost a year-long battle with cancer. In memory of John Vance, we, the faculty and staff of Coat High School, honor Hernando Torres, who represents the standard that John exemplifies. Hernando Torres, and I apologize, would you please come forward and be recognized? Harad, Harado. Mr. Anderson asked if he should do something for the kids. I guess he should have done it for me. I'm tripping all the time. Um, <clears throat> we're getting close, 08. Members of the class of 2008, would you please stand? It's my honor on the behalf of the faculty and administration of Coldwater High School, I present the class of 2008 to the Board of Education, and in doing so, verify that each member has met their <laughs> requirements for the diploma and is entitled to all of the rights, privileges, and responsibilities appertaining thereto. Mrs. Sexton. by the authority of the state of Michigan, vested in the Board of Education, and by them delegated to me as president, I hereby confer upon you the diploma of Coldwater High School. Congratulations, 2008 graduates. The majority of the graduates may be seated, and the first ones could please proceed to the platform. Where's the picture? No, I tell you what, if you would do this, then 
Just do it with anything, it doesn't matter, they're all blank. Marie Catherine Dubay. Melanie Ann Sebesky. Christine Renee Sexton. Aaron Danielle Lesko. Chelsea Ruth Hart. Quinton Glenn White. Nicholas James Van Busker. J. William McMillan. Kyle Andrew Bowers. Aaron Grace Hammond. Cassandra Michelle Klein. Kimberly Ann Putnam. Caitlin Marie Horn. Brittany Lynn Miller. Nathan Scott McFarland. Clifford H. Bowers. Kyle William Raymond. Sean Allen Guzzi. Dominique Ann Severin. Yeah, Dominique. Cassandra Lynn Stauffer. Brittany Nicole Craig. Devin Michael Marvin. Michael. 
Brian Lee Shirk. Anthony Davis Scheidler. Tiffany Nicole Roby. Daniel Pohanka. Jonathan Brantley Lawrence. Carrie Mitchell Beck. Jeffrey Michael Berry. Neil Wayne Case. Amanda Marie Loveless. Rochelle Ann Heckman. Michelle Catherine Rooka. Desiree Renee Case. Judith Rebecca Romer. Tia Marie Ostrander. Rochelle Lacole Batters. Evan Adam Casey. Marcus Everett Riker II. Donna Michelle Landis. Kirsten Marie Chapman. Carly Diane Wong. Kara Ann Jennings. Ashley Nicole Cox. Hector Luis Serrano. Marina Leon Arno.
Todd Evans Thurman, Jr. Sarah Marie Melton. Dina Lynn Neal. Mark Yearling. David Paul Jones. John Colton Lentz. Zachary Malat. Logan Gerardo. Douglas Ross Demarest. Crystal Jean Carpenter. Kyle LaVon Cole. Christopher Scott Wilkinson. Brandon Scott Granger. Todd Allen Hetrick. Christopher James Carbon. Logan James Clark. Alex Henry Cooley. Daniel Logan Smith. Brandon Scott Heine. Jeffrey Donald Ernsberger. William Lee Mata. Charles Richard Yeager. What is it? Levi Lowell Piper. Hassan Frederick Berthelsen. <laughs> Trenton J. Cole. Michael Allen Scudder. Kyle Eric Armstrong. Travis Ray Harmon. Sergio Torres Camargo. Gerardo Torres Camargo.
Charles Joseph Bierman. Mazen Jalel Saeed. Nicole Leanne Eberts. Whitney Marie Scheidler. Amanda Michelle Owens. Tierra K. Towers. Michelle Elise Blashfield. Desiree Victoria Lynn Short. Cecilia May Curry. Michael Todd Sturgeon. Danielle Alexandra Wolf. Olivia Jill Seiler. Kathy Marnett. Lisa Kirchhoff. Laura Kristen Kulaman Ulu. Mikhail Dennison Welke. Riley Kelly Murphy. Leticia Chantel Fenske. Stephanie Ray Reed. <laughs> Lindsay Elizabeth Anderson. Samantha Lynn Fry. Hannah Allison Santola. Scott Randall Frazier. Curtis Allen Warner. Huh? Ryan Bobby Babilia. Nathan Dean Wood. Jacob Douglas Bildner. The 
Nora Ramirez. Nora Freisberg. Brittany Noel Gehring. Lane Ashley Ish. Kara Michelle Green. Joshua Robert Rich. Terry Nicole Hoy. Monica May Reese. Brandy K. Goings. Danielle Marie Howes. Zachary Lee Shepard. Rachel Elizabeth Fiesel. <laughs> Katrina Hamlin. Rona Marie Bowles. Hannah Marie Dull. <laughs> Carrie Lynn Tesh. Jade Marie Cox. Morgan Elizabeth Ann O'Neill. Kirsten Diane Chess. Kevin Scott Ryan. Brittany Nicole Coates. Kayla Joanne Franks. Whitney Jane Lee Kowalski. Sarah Marie Holbrook. Casey Lynn Holt. Casey Joe Woods. Christina Ashley Otis. Carlin Tichelle Ray Richards. Kylie Marie Loniker. Abdul Rahman Ahmed Shareen. Amr Abdullah Ismail.
Abdullah Ali Abu Bakr. Michael Wayne Gillum. Candace Dawn Smith. Heather Ann Boer. <laughs> Madeline Marie Albright. <laughs> Rachel Nicole Fillmore. Kefa Abdullah Al Sufi. <laughs> Maria Rahman. <laughs> Tanisha Lily Mendelson. <laughs> Sultana Abdullah Al Sufi. Courtney Boone. <laughs> Ashley Marie O'Brien. <laughs> Curtis Harold Kunkel. <laughs> John Paul Reese. Joshua Ryan Hurd. Daniel Allen Norton. Edward Vern McQueen, Jr. Justin Ward. Jennifer Snyder. Megan Ann Perot. Stephanie Ann Schultz. Christopher James Boyd. Abdullah Mohsen Ahmed. Mahmoud Aziz Ahmed. Murad Nasser. Muhammad Ali Musa. Scott Ung. Nicholas Alexander Lyon. Daniel Joseph Fowler. Elizabeth Michelle Odrin. Cameron Clay Long. Corey Michael Wilbur Reckaway. Natty Pironchinda.
Natalia Cabrera. Stefania Rajel Arahuo. Daniela Reggiana Camera. Yareli Elizon Valle. Jeanette Valle Rodriguez. Bertine Luviano. Alicia Garza. Rosa Maria Ramirez. Sergio Alberto. Hernan Gamon. May Katayama. Yu Feng Cheng. Mishun Cheng. Peter Allen Carmen. Sarah A. Rasha Alasaid. Jessica Zerley. Lisa Reisner. Jonathan Vince. Chancellor Christopher Murdoch. Paul Harm Kriska. Haley Elizabeth Randall. Darren Matthew Lewis. Brett Anthony Wing. Victor Lawrence Baker. Nicholas Dean Adams. Kevin Michael Burroughs. Kelsey Nicole Browse. Tiffany Marie Mertz. Stacy Lynn Lilu. Nicholas Gage Burke. Amber Raylan Gibson. Ryan Scott Fillmore. Kevin Wills. Yeah. 
Hannah Jo Hughes. Jennifer Renee Asher. Philip Christopher Charles Grubb. Brianna Lee Bittner. Crystal Christine Casey. Kayla Renee Case. Sarah Jean Bowling. Colin Christopher Sherfield. Joshua Robert Lane. Jesse Allen Heminger. Andrew Giles McRae. Nolan David Wages. Samantha Danielle Palmatier. Robert Snyder. David Scott Bailey. James Ryan Walters. Travis Marsh. Members of the class of 2008, would you please rise and face the stands? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is a privilege to introduce to you the newest alumni of Coldwater High School, the graduated class of 2008, class crossover. Ladies and gentlemen, please remain standing. On behalf of the class of 2008, thank you for serving as witness to our commencement exercises and seeing us off on our life adventure. Fellow graduates, Thank you for allowing me the privilege of representing you as class president. Remember where it all began and faithfully return to the family to share your success stories at our class reunions. Thank you.
up the caps and exchange once you get out. Here found from 